neurology of change works in two ways. One is called the remedial change. Remedial change means you are fixing, patching up something. Okay? So let's say your CV is not good, you are fixing that. That's called the remedial change. Now this is an external push. Your coach is pushing you, hey, you should not be putting your CV this way, you change this many things in your CV and so on and so forth. Now you are ready to change. If your communication is not good, vacation will be power information and you apply it. Okay? That is your remedial change, which is an external push. Some of you have actually experienced some of the remedial change which are internally driven. Okay? Which is, you saw some of the people in this room who are getting the success. Now you are determined to actually take the steps to achieve that success. Now you are fixing the things at your end. Maybe start posting on the LinkedIn, maybe start talking in the power equation to the outside world, even though the external push didn't work. But now you are pushed inside. So that is a remedial inside. Then there is a third level of change which happens is called the generative change. The generative change happens when the, the life changes drastically. So how many of you are parents when you when you become a parent, suddenly you have changed. Yeah? The person who was not even putting the clothes in the cupboard, they are putting the diapers in the cupboard. Isn't it? The person who was always thinking that okay, yeah, that's there. Instead of they say, why don't they actually make something at home? The person who used to smoke just because the child is there. Now we quit smoking, which was not their habit that they used to get rid of for a long period of time. Now these are called the generative changes. When you change your uh, let's say you become a parents, you go into the new country, you adapt to the new country and so on and so forth. But these are the drastic changes. Okay? And these drastic changes are actually the identity change. So if you become a parent, your identity change. Now you are no longer a man or a woman, you are a parents, so mom and dad. So you are promoted. But you feel the promotion which the changes. Some of you are able to handle it, some of you are not able to handle that. But the general changes are so sudden that it changes the identity of a person immediately. Now, at this level of changes is when the transformation happens. Okay? So, in your uh, bottom of the pyramid, write down environment. Write down environment. At the bottom of your pyramid, there are seven steps in that triangle. Environment. These are your uncontrollable factors. You don't have any control. Okay? When, where, how, what, you don't have anything in your hand. But we are always busy in that. We are always busy in this process of environment. Your environment creates your behavior. That is where the E plus R is equal to O. Okay? So your environment leads to your behavior. Now your behavior looks for the capabilities inside you for that change. So the skills that you have. So your boss comes and me from the meeting of his boss and comes down to you and say that what the hell is going on? Why everything is KYR? And now your environment has suddenly changed. You were in a client meeting who was appreciating you. Suddenly your boss is coming and saying that you are useless. Your environment has changed. Now your behavior will change. And you are looking up to the skills or the capabilities. That you think I have it or not is a question. And that will question your beliefs. Okay? That is the next level where your beliefs and your values are questioned. Your beliefs and values are questioned. But the real change happens when you change your identity level. When you actually know yourself, what is my desire level, what is my not desire level, I want to actually nurture my desire level. Now you are actually making some conscious efforts to change your identity. Once you make those conscious efforts to change your identity, you will see that your values and beliefs also actually align. Your values and beliefs also align. And once you change that identity, that's where the next thing happens. The next thing is all about whether you are connected to the right intention. Remember I told you yesterday, it's not about the information, it's about the intention. Can you connect yourself to the right intention? And intention, you can always say that intention is more of your why. It's a purpose, it's spiritual in nature. Okay? And that intention can lead to the result that you desire to have. Okay? Can lead to the result that you desire to have. If I have to actually tell you the triangle, I'm showing you the triangle, you can note it down. In between, there is an intention and the values or the identity. There is, a part, there is a part of spirituality which actually leads you to get rid of your ego. That is the process we did just now, healing process. When you are getting rid of your ego and you are saying sorry to somebody who have never been said sorry to, that is including yourself. So this is where you are creating a different version of yourself and once you align yourself in this triangle, your purpose, your intention leads to your identity. So the person who is becoming an overnight parent, they have a struggle to meet with that identity. But over a period of time, they align. And because of that alignment, that identity is created. Because of that identity, their values and their beliefs change. The person who is careless about the family when they are bachelor, suddenly start taking care of the family. How many of you have seen those changes? Yeah? 
So you suddenly start taking care of your family. Oh, I have a responsibility of XYZ. That's why the first five parents, if the person is actually going out of your hand, they say getting married or get her married, automatically change will happen. This is the generative change. Because your identity change over time. And they don't have to do anything except that few lakh rupees on you, on your marriage. That's a very small price for it. For this change. Then your value leads to your beliefs. So when you value growth, your belief will be I am unstoppable. But if you value stability, security, safety, then your belief cannot be I am unstoppable. So your values will lead to your belief. And your belief will lead to the capabilities that you are developing for yourself. Those capabilities in terms of the skills, in terms of the education, how can I achieve something? How can I lead some places? And that capabilities then lead to the behavior. So some of you say that I'm not good at communication. Why you are saying it? Because at the level of uh, change, you cannot actually change the person. You always have to go to the next level. So when I ask you that you need to learn the communicating in the right way, so we are talking about the capabilities. Your communication is currently at the behavior level. So we talk about the value, we talk about the belief, we talk about the capabilities, then your behavior changes. So when you use the power equation, what is changes inside you is your belief system that you can communicate well, your capabilities. So mental model is given to you so that you can communicate well. So those capabilities are pushed onto you. And that is the reason, if you want to make the changes that stays with you permanently, always seek the changes at the next level of your neurology. So if you want to change the environment, is it possible? Yes? No? Yes? No. yes? Possible? Yeah? You can create your environment actually, if you want to. This is the environment. Have you ever been a part of it? Yes or no? Yes. Correct? Now, this environment is your choice. Many of you are in ELC, not everybody has come. They also made a choice. They don't want to be part of this environment. Now, this environment is a choice that you made. Now, will you be always in the control of this environment? The answer is no. But can you be in control of your behavior? Yes. And we talk about the new behavior generation in the NLP. Why? Because you are changing your behavior level by using your beliefs and your values at the grassroots level. That means we are asking you what you see and what you perceive are two different things. When you anchor something which gives you the confidence, that will enter into you. Now it becomes your new behavior. Then you can create as many magic circles as you want. So we are now working at a neurology level where you can align your values, your belief, and your capabilities of your experience, knowledge, skills, talent, expertise that you have. And then make those changes. So if you are currently, let's say, struggling in any of the area, let's say you're not getting a job, for example. Okay? What do you need to do? Your environment is not in your control. What is that you need to change? You have to go up a level of the neurology of change. So you have to ask yourself, what are my behavior again? In the, in the response to my environment, I'm not getting the job. What do I feel? That is where your FTBA comes. Yeah. Then they ask you, okay, are you feeling? Are you thinking? Are you believing? Are you taking the actions? Then your capabilities come. So, neurology change. This is the order. It's order from the top to bottom and bottom to top, both ways it works in the reverse order as well. So, let's say if you have a vision which you have identified for yourself for 2024, which is mentioned. Now, ask yourself, what is the purpose of that vision? What is that dream that you want to achieve? Big dream for which you cannot sleep. Can you actually convert into that identity for yourself? What are the levels of identity that I need to be in order to achieve that vision? What are the kind of values that I need to have in order to achieve that vision? What are the levels of belief that I need to have in order to achieve that vision? and so on and so forth. Now what is the environment I need to create around me to achieve that vision? So if I want to be in the once year plus category of a job, I need to be surrounding myself with those people who are always earning that, who are having that level of capabilities, who are thinking like that, who are having the values of those. Now that environment is in your control. So you are now vision driven and controlling your environment. The second way of looking at it is you are in the environment. Now everything is changing from the bottom to top. So you are in this environment. Now you are seeing the behavior is changing. How many of you have seen the behavior change in yourself in the last two days? Yeah? You have started meeting with each other, you have started speaking, you are opening up, you are realizing a lot of things, you are you have also realized that a lot of months I have given in the ELC on Zoom, but nothing happened. But here, just in a few days, a few hours, you can change it. Now, how many of you have developed the capabilities in the last two days? Have you developed the capabilities of controlling your behavior, generating your behavior, identifying what are the things which I need to do in order to probably reach to a goal? That is a granular level that we have talked about yesterday. 
How many of you have realized that your belief has also changed by seeing the speakers in this room? That if they can do it, you can do it. How many of you have realized that the value system that you carry, what value system you carry about your stability, your higher expectation, lower performance, both will not work. So your value system needs to match, align. Higher expectation, higher performance, higher pressure. And then we talk about the identity in the morning. So we have taken from top to bottom and bottom to top to make sure that you are aligned to the change neurologically. And that was the purpose of this two days. How many of you are now connecting the dots and have your bulbs on? Yeah, this was the purpose. Uh, this is the only chart I had and I created the entire two days around this. To make sure that all of you when you go through the process and when you come to the conclusion, you actually reach to a level where you understand that when I went to change anything, let's say anything you want to change, where am I, when am I going to do that, your job, your promotion, anything externally, you need to look up and ask what behavior am I demonstrating, what are the values I have, what are the beliefs I have, what is the identity I am carrying. What vision do I have? Is it aligned to my spirituality? Is it aligned to my wife? Once you do that, automatically the change will happen and that change will be permanent. Because this is the alignment which gives you the generative changes, which is not possible otherwise by just doing the remedial changes. You changing the CV, not happening anything in your life, this is the reason. Okay? So, once you start practicing at this level, there will be sessions in the ELC where we will be conducting going to the depth of it. There will be techniques which we will be sharing with you in ELC as well. But if you align yourself with your neurology of change and if you just master this triangle, the rest of the things in your life will always work out. There is no way it will not work out. Because this is the foundation of the entire human psychology that you can ever think about.